they lose that wealth. Now, I foresee a situation whereby the secret that led you to be able to sustain and control your wealth to today should be maybe a book that some of us will read to be able to control and sustain our wealth. Would you care to share your secret with us? Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I've gotten broke before. Don't think. Yeah, I was broke, I think, two times. But the third time, I said to myself, it's not going to happen again. The first one, in 1992, after the election and the Kufuado lost, I was in Ghana for eight months. I lost my guest friend that I was madly in love with because I was broke. Two, my office in New York. I stayed in Ghana for eight months. When I went back, the landlord has taken everything in my office. I had only one car left and I started driving taxi again. We call it dollar dollar from Co-op City to Baychester. Co-op City to Baychester. That is when I was going to invest. When I had this money here, I didn't want to touch it. So I was using my car, Lincoln town car for taxi. Then the second one, I lost a lot of money here. I had to sell six out of my nine houses to start life again. That is when I said, it's not going to happen. I got broke through family, not friends, family. Got me broke. But I rose to the occasion. Fortunately, at age 32, I had 11 houses in Ghana. Why? Because we did the amnesty program introduced by Regan. I was not a lawyer, just a cis former. So whatever money I made that time, quick, I'll come to Ghana and buy a house. Then I go back. The lawyers, I don't want to say anything. Uh, when we finished the program, I had 11 houses. Some of them married some beautiful ladies. And now when I see them, they are old. You know? So, life, I used that example of multitudinous in Canada. You go up, you come down. So, I collapsed twice. And the third time, I said, hell no. It's not going to happen. That is when I decided, and let me share that with you. If you finish school and you establish your business, don't get your family involved. When you are in a plane going to do business <clears throat> and a man walks to you to say that he's the Jesus Christ we don't know and worship. If he says, Jesus Christ says to you, that he knows Ghana, don't believe in Jesus Christ again. <laughs> Apply all business principles to protect your interests. Because Jesus Christ that we are worshipping, visiting Ghana, is being corrupted. <laughs> yeah. And that has helped me. I don't believe in anybody. I believe in myself. That is why I survived the third time. I didn't make it happen again. No friends, no relative friends. You pick and choose. Those who share the same vision with you, deal with them. So don't think, I have not gone through hardships before. I have. But I had to survive. That is where you learn your lessons. Then you correct them. And you become a better person, a better businessman. So it's necessary to fall. So that when you rise, you will not make that mistakes again. Don't think life is going to be smooth, straight like that for you. You'll be a fool. Because you'll be so swollen headed, you think you've made it in life, and then no. You fall, wake up, fall, wake up, the third time say, mm -mm -mm, it's not going to happen. Protect every pace. And why some businesses collapse is because they are dishonest. 
First thing that will collapse your business is dishonesty. Let me tell you. I was in Dubai for my birthday. Three parties thrown for me were all paid by friends. I can afford it. But friends paid it because they trust me. I've never been to Jerusalem, but a tree has been planted in my name. I have the pictures I brought. Why? I will not mention names, but honorable. When they showed me the pictures, I was so shocked. Two MPP MPs, former MPs, wanted to dupe some Israelis $37 million sugar. And I stopped it. They have a company called GP, GNPA Limited. Yeah, honorable members, do we have Ghana National Procurement Agency Limited in this country? And check the website. You know the MPs that I'm talking about. They are MPP MPs going to dupe the Jews. But I said, we don't have anything. Please be careful. And truly, truly, they checked. They realized they were being duped. And they stopped the transaction. Now, because of my honesty, I've not been to Jerusalem, but he has planted a tree in my name. So maybe... He said he'll bring his jet to come and pick that a foam boy to Israel just to go and see the tree that he has planted in my name. So honesty, they give you contract or transaction, somebody wants to deal with you, then you dupe him. You think he will come again? No. Then a lot 